Welcome back, everybody, to one of Santa's first stops. That's how close we are. As Beaverworks Diecast Racing and their partner in crime, the Igloo Proving Grounds, team up with the Race Shop to bring you the follow-up from the Real Riders to Real Racers mod vid we did. And today, we're here for some track testing. Let's see what these Real Riders can do. Plan is we got duplicate Ford Galaxy 500s from the Team Haulers and Impalas from the Fast and Furious series, and 169 Chevelle SS from the Boulevard series. This guy is on his way off site, so we need to get the Real Riders to Real Racers episode done so we can get this guy out of here. A glue main track is prepped, timers and lab crews have got their stuff rigged, and our regular sight of spectators are checking it out. In case you missed it, this is the follow-up from the Real Riders to Real Racers vid we did when we showed how to dip and roll the magic on. Now we've got ourselves a stack of drivers, we have got an open track, and we're ready to rock this. So let's move on to race number one. Hot Wheels, 8 Crate. What's this guy doing here? This is for real riders. Well, we need a benchmark. Time and gram for gram, eight crate is the most bang for your buck. Let's see how he does. Nice and smooth. You can always rely on your eight crate for almost any track to give you a good clean run. And eight crate is clean over the line at a 10.74. That is going to be our benchmark to beat on regular wheels. Moving on to the real stuff now with race number two. Hot Wheels 69 Chevelle SS. This is the race shop's first go with the coated wheel mod and it was a hit. This car has made several trips down this track and now the coating is holding strong. The Igloo main track is a multi-surface, far from smooth track, perfect for car system performance and endurance testing. And here we see the 69 Chevelle SS pulling it off with a 1234 time. Not bad for being born with sticky rubbers on. Cuts a nice line through the Igloo corner, slides himself through the 3D pot maker corner, and makes it down. 1234 is not a bad time for real riders. Bring on race number three. Hot Wheels, Ford Galaxy 500. Our first example of what we're sure lots of you know already, and that's the relatively lousy performance you get out of real riders. In a straight line, they're not so bad, but just as soon as they hit the corner, just too sticky. Loses all of his momentum, puts along, and ends up half and out on the bottom corner. You need to keep your speed up if you're going to make it through the 3D bot maker corner cleanly, still available for download free from the 3D bot maker main site. First run with the unmodified real riders gets a big old DNF. Moving on to race four. Hot Wheels Ford Galaxy 500. Sounds familiar. Same casting, Modified Coated Real Racers is our fun nickname, and we can see here is just enough to help break the friction and give her some slip through those big bank corners. Comes over the line with a 12.45, not bad. This process is still in the fledgling stages of development and we can expect significant improvements in future projects. Still being able to rip through both the igloo and 3D bot maker corner comparing to the last run is not too bad. 1245, we can live with that. Moving on to race number five. Hot Wheels 61 Impala SS. Awesome looking casting and this thing is a behemoth in the stats. Big and heavy at a 56.8 grams and 8.3 centimeters long. This is our unmodified version having a go at the main track. Let's see if all that dirt helps those stock sticky wheels go the distance. Slowing down on the bottom straight. And turtles on the 3D bot maker corner. On your back in the gutter is no way to end up when you're trying to perform, kids. Little life hack for you there. Stock unmodified real riders get a big gold DNF for the Hot Wheels Chevelle SS. 
on to race number six. Hot Wheels, 61 Impala SS. Modified real racers this time on this monster. And it's eating up the corners as it shreds the igloo, devours the 3D corner, and down the last straight for an 1171 time on real riders. That is freaking stellar. Near perfect line through the igloo corner and glides through the 3D corner without even touching the sides. Top shelf run for the Hot Wheel 61 Impala SS on our modified real racers. Overall, the closest time to the 1074 delivered by the 8 crate at the beginning is the Impala SS with an 1171. That was impressive. No surprise with the unmodified DNFs. And as for our modified real racers, we are happy with the results, showing there is still a use for real riders in the diecast racing scene. And we know you all want a taste of that, so here it is. All three of our featured real riders head to head to head for one shot down the track just for fun. There's the mess in the corner as usual. And this has turned out to be a race backwards. And it's gonna be 69 Chevelle SS. Driver gave it the beans on that run, showing it's not all about the speed, but skills in the corner are an asset. Just ask any hockey player, especially if they're from uh, Canada, eh? <laughs> Anywho, this guy's getting crated up and shipped off to the Chaos Canyon for their Canyon Outlaws competition. Beaverworks third home-built racer heading out into the world. Big old shout out again to the crew over at the Chaos Canyon for putting on the Canyon Outlaw Tournament, the weekly DSPN report, taking part in the DIRS 2021 race series, Frank's Garage. We assume that they eat and sleep somewhere in there as well. Kit Kaham's Diecast Racing Report by Weekly Online Magazine. Redline Derby Racing for stuff, track info, and lots of build info. 3D Bot Maker for all he's done in our awesome corner. And to all of ya YouTubers checking out our stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that big old bell to let you know when the next vid is up. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the entire Diecast Racing community, Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.